This video review is sponsored by Nerdy Shirts. Looking for a really cool shirt that's 100% awesome? Check out nerdyshirts.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's me Omar from buymeaniphone.com and I have another review lined up for you today. Now this review is of a product that's a little bit different from what I usually show you guys. Um, uh, actually Swingline contacted me and asked me to review their Swingline Stack and Shred, their new shredder. And this is a pretty much this is pretty much like a hardcore shredder. You can shred up to 100 sheets of paper at one time. So a little bit different from what I'm usually showing you guys, but I figured a lot of you guys are probably business owners or working in an office and you may find this interesting. So hopefully you will uh, get something out of this video. Uh, I'm gonna go switch over to close-up camera. I'm gonna give you guys a demo of how this product works and just tell you about what my thoughts are on the swing line stack and shred, okay? So let's go do that now. All right guys, so here we have the swing line stack and shred. I've already taken it out of the box and everything. Just wanna give you guys a walk around and show you all the different areas and pieces of it. As you can see, it's a very large shredder. Not your average size shredder, it's a very high capacity shredder. So first we get to the back, we have our main on and off switch right here. This is the main power for the whole device. So when it's off, nothing's gonna work at all. When it's on, when you turn the auto button on the front, it'll be in standby, so you can use it whenever you need to. We have the cord back here. This cord is not super long. It's about four feet long, so you're gonna have to keep it pretty close to a plug, and it's a three-prong plug, so you're not gonna be able to use like a, any longer extensions or things like that. You have to actually plug into the wall or maybe a surge protector. Get to the front here. So we have different, three different ways you can shred with this type of shredder. First off, our credit card slot, which is very helpful to have. For any of you guys that need to get rid of those credit cards, you can actually shred them up here and don't have to worry about anyone having to take it and steal your, steal your information or steal your card number. Then we have our manual slot right here. You can actually stick up to six sheets of paper through the manual slot. And that's uh, sheets of paper that are 75 GSM. And that's about, that's basically like regular copy paper, laser paper uh, for those of you guys. And also the really cool part of this whole thing is the auto tray. And so with the auto tray here, you can stick up to a hundred sheets of paper inside here at one time and it'll shred the whole thing up and you won't even have to touch anything. So that's probably the coolest feature of this whole product. I'm not, I'm not even sure if there's other smaller office, small office shredders that are like this that can even do that. I may be wrong about that, but from what I've seen, I haven't seen any other products that can do that. So really interesting, uh, really interesting features that this does have. And the cool thing too is you can actually shred papers that have regular standard paper clips and standard uh, staples that are in them. As long as it's about one inch from the corner, you can, uh, you can put those straight in here and you can shred them. As you can see, there's lots of worms on different types of things you cannot shred. And one of them is our larger paper clips and maybe more industrial sized uh, staples. But for standard staples, standard small paper clips, not an issue at all. Uh, keep in mind though guys, you cannot stick CDs in here though. I know there are some shredders out there that can uh, shred CDs. Um, I it would be kind of nice to put that in there though because you think if it can't shred a, a, a credit card, if this slot was a little bit wider, you could probably shred uh, CDs as well. But uh, for whatever reason, that feature is not on here. So you can do credit cards, manual sheets, six up to six manual sheets, and up to 100 manual sheets inside here. So let's get to the front, we have our other buttons. So we have our auto button, our forward, and our reverse. In case you need to unjam it or reverse something back out, you have those buttons on there. So if you keep that on. So right now it's cleaning the blades and making sure that it's not clogged up right now. It does that whenever you turn it on for the first time. And we have our different settings right here letting you know when it is clogged or when it's jammed up and it's reversing back and forth to unjam the paper. So those different indicator lights right here. Get to the bottom and we have our dispenser tray right here. So we pop this open and it's a pretty big tray. And as you can see, I have quite a bit of, of uh, paper in here. And the thing I like about this, it's not that paper that's long, str long shreds. It's, it's still long strands, but they're not super long. It's not like the whole thing. And so it does, does cross shred it. So it makes it really easy to keep stacking up. You can fit tons of paper in there. I've been shredding a little bit, uh, some of my older bills and such. And I'm gonna give you guys a demo of shredding some paper in here in just a second. And it does come with this bag here. This is, where, this is a bag you can use. So basically it allows, since the bag is made of paper, you can throw the whole thing in the recycle and it can all be recycled as opposed to putting it in, a, in a, you know, a different type of plastic bag or whatever. But you don't have to have a bag at all in here. You could just leave it empty if you really wanted to. You'll just have to empty this out into trash. So pretty large capacity right there. And when you close it up, it's gonna, it's gonna turn on again once I close it. So just letting you guys know. There it goes. Okay, so it's clearing it up, there we go. So the really cool thing I like about the manual, the manual tray here, the fact that it can do six sheets of paper is I'm sure that a lot of you guys, you probably get uh, you know, those offers for credit cards in the mail, that type of thing. A lot of times you don't wanna to have to take all, that, all those pieces out, shred them separately. So with, since it can handle six sheets of paper, you can basically take an envelope with your junk mail, whatever it is, stick it in there, it'll slowly go through.
and it'll take care of the whole thing for you. You don't have to shred, have cut it in half. You don't have to mess with it or deal with it. You can shove the whole thing in there, a whole envelope with a couple sheets inside of it, not too many, not too thick, and it should be fine. It goes through the whole thing. So let's give you guys a demo of the, the large capacity auto tray. So this is where it gets fun. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have bills and other things that have been stacking up. I actually have a box of them here that I've been collecting specifically for this review and just of different papers and things like that. Now remember, it can fit up to 100 sheets of paper, but that's paper that's 75 GSM, which is about a regular normal sheet of copy paper, okay? Nothing thick, nothing hard, hard, heavy stock of paper, thick stock of paper, okay? So up to 100 sheets. Let's give this a quick test and we'll see what happens. So you stick them in here, close this down, So it's straight all the papers, it's not, it makes a little bit of noise. Now, this thing does rumble quite a bit, so if you're using this at nighttime, like me, and you're right next door to your, your, your kid's room or something, they're gonna hear the shirt, because it is pretty loud. But for the office use, that, that shouldn't be an issue at all. As you can see, it totally frees you up now. I already stuck almost about 50 sheets of paper in there, just to make this a little bit quicker. And now I can do whatever I need to do around the office. I don't have to sit there and manually feed. And even with the manual feeder, six sheets of paper, if I have a stack of 100 sheets of paper, that's still gonna take a while. So all you gotta do is stick it in the auto tray and let it sit there and do its thing while you get back to your work. So really awesome features, really awesome product. If you guys work in an office, if you own a small business, and you're looking for a shredder that you don't have to manually keep be on top of all the time, this is probably the perfect product for you. And now, granted, it does retail for 200 to 250, which is a little bit pricier, so the average person is probably not gonna need the shredder, but this is meant for small offices. So, really awesome product from Swingline. I really appreciate them sending it out to me. Uh, this is the first time I've ever had an opportunity to review an office product, so this is kind of cool, and I hope a lot, a lot of you guys found this video interesting and uh, educational. So, this is the Swingline Stack and Shred Shredder. You, like I said, you can purchase this at Office Max, Office Depot, probably your office stores, office, uh, stores in your area locally 200 to 250 that's the price range okay so that's gonna be it for me today i'm gonna let the thing keep on shredding and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video review see you guys. all done